This is becoming an all too common sad sight. Week after week, a shack burns down. It is alleged that on the fateful day, the children gained access to one of the houses as it remains unlocked and through playing with matches set the bed on fire, which quickly spread throughout the four shacks. Luckily, everyone escaped unharmed. First day, lunchtime, 10 to 1. I wake up, I was sleeping with the small baby in the bedroom. I'm looking after the kids and the time I wake up, I try to call the kids to make for them something for lunch. And the time I try to call them, the smaller girl, this one, come around to tell me the house is on fire. See, I say which house, then she tell me their house is on fire, then I ran outside. I could not, the time she tell me and I come out, I could not even open this door because the fire was already burning, it was burning already. This one tell me, the brother was put the fire with the matches. So me, I was never in that room in the morning. The parents didn't lock the room, so she knows the room is open. That's why she come around. Maybe the, fire, the matches was on the bed or on the floor. I don't know where exactly. But see, they find the matches in the room. Mm. That's why they put the fire. People are continuously warned about the dangers of leaving children unattended and keeping hazardous objects away from children such as matches. Yet, this plea seems to be falling on deaf ears. With these things like this, we are now four days. We can't do nothing. We are waiting for the councillors to come and see. We are waiting the letter from the fire brigades so that we can go in some way to try to get something. But there are people who help us who start to giving us clothes. But the problem is where must the people go to sleep? Where must they put their clothes? But we are taking in there lots. I think the clothes, it's, it's reasonable. We get them. But the way to start to sleep, it's a problem. The future looks unsure for these families as all their belongings, documents, clothing and appliances have been burned to ashes. But sadly, fires of this nature will continue if people don't take safety precautions. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Bramal the English.